more room than you think there isn't there what's going on what's going on I'm scared she's losing concentration already Somebody, all that space on a river. <laughs> hell, bloody hell, fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Scraped outside. Well, that was a certainly um, a morning waker upper, weren't it? I was only having my cup of coffee. Um, We've, we've had two boats behind us who turned up yesterday, dead inconsiderate. They've had, like, we don't mind generators and stuff like that, but before eight o'clock, um, it was a bit much. They were noisy, bawling and shouting. Anyway, one of them, you've got a whole river. I'll show you how much room you've got. You've got a whole river, buddies hit us. I mean, unbelievable. Um, and I mean, properly it, scraped all down the side and everything. Unbelievable, aren't they, Tony? And he just went, I couldn't get off the side, but he's, he's they're, they're, they're just unbelievable. I mean, you, you heard how bad it was, but it carried on. What have you got, Ellen? What have you got? What time is it? Half eleven. Half eleven. So what have you got, Helen? Half year, half year. Is there anything else that you can produce, Ellen? Double? Yeah, it says that on the bottom. No, you don't have to put double in it at half eleven. Well, I have. Do you put, do you put, meant to, how many chunks of ice you have, that's how many shots you have. Is that right? Yeah. So is that why you could get as much ice in as you could? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get two chunks of ice in, so I've got two chunks. Right. I suppose it's one of your five a day as well. Are you looking at that one as well? Yeah. Yeah, you're just doing it for health reasons. And if you put celery in, it's posh of what we haven't got, Mum. Oh, right. Can you put extra vodka in if you put celery in? So do we reckon that Ellen's got a drink problem? <laughs> and the worst thing is, those two pints are actually hers. And I'm not even having one. Is it one for eight jam? Yeah. God. So something a bit strange has happened. I'm putting the water in. Uh, well, doing everything really, because she doesn't do anything as, as you're probably aware. Um, and we've been here for a bit now. And I'll just show you because I think something weird's happened. Let's just have a look. See what's going on here. Oi! <laughs> you went to sleep there. That's like on a shelf. Oh my god. These are the things I have to put up with with her. She just goes to sleep anywhere. And the thing is, kids follow suit. They do exactly the same as well. They could sleep on a washing line this long. Honestly, I'm busy doing stuff and she's asleep. I'm getting told off today, but I, I, it's my medication. It's making me fall asleep. I mean, that... The is that part of your medication over there, Alan? <laughs> the fact that 
that that I've had. Um, so, yeah, like now, I know this is my problem, I nap, I nap a lot, me. And he should, he should, he was moaning at me about it, but he should enjoy it because when I nap, he gets a break. I'm not bothered about you napping, it's, you can nap on a shelf. I know, I can nap anywhere. Me and my girls can nap anywhere. And I mean anywhere. I mean, if my size allows. I mean... Climb over because my legs are too short and I'd bang my rude bits. <laughs> bang, bang. Yeah, I'm not saying it. No, don't say it, don't say it. I'd hurt myself. And then... I'd... You'd be the worst solo boater ever because you won't be able to get off boat. You'd have to float around it canal all night. <laughs> Boat as well. I've made a bacon butter. Yeah, you did do that. I've made a bacon butter. Got the pan of chocolate and a flat on. You did do that, yeah. Yeah, you did do that. No. You took flaps out. I took flaps out. Which was uh, a bit of a scary moment because you did my job. Oh well, yeah. And I've steered the boat as well. Yeah. It only did four minutes, but it's better now. You've not done a lot there. You, you're just saying a lot of words. You've not done anything. You need to pull your finger out and sort yourself out. Yeah, I know. You need to be able to get off. You need to sort yourself out. Never mind this tour rubbish. It's not even true about your tour. What a con. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Duck's nesting outside of it. A turtle or a terrapin or whatever it is. Look at these gorgeous little boats. Apparently they've tried to go through the um, Gondolas, aren't they? Yeah, so we're possibly having one of the best days ever. Coco had my glasses out with me, wonky eye. Um, we're having Bloody Murray, only the one still, we won't say one. We're just it's half past two now, so we've had that for three hours, that, that one drink, before anybody starts going on. Life jackets, bloody Mary, um, you know, save it, <laughs> save it. Um, so yeah, we've, we've, had, we've, had a, we've had bacon butters, we've had some treats and stuff, so we've filled up with water, we've emptied rubbish, so now we're just, we're still going on, but we're having a lovely time, aren't we Tony? No, for a Wednesday, it's not too bad. Well, we're at um, Devil's Creek again. No, we're not. No, we're not. No. What's it called? Devil's Garden. Devil's Garden. Creek. Devil's Creek. <laughs> You've been watching Devil, Devil's Creek. Yeah, Devil's Creek. We're at the Devil's Creek again. <laughs> we're at the de well, Devil's Garden. There's another boat over there. It's called Trouble and Mill. I think that's the one that's here. Um, and we've just had another um, somebody who's just gone past and, and they were being dead complimentary about our channel and then he offered to take me off, off um, Tony's hands um, Tony, I said off you go. Tony would have been glad Tony was nearly throwing me in getting rid of me um, but I couldn't pronounce the name of the boat but I'm sure I've spoken to him online because if it's you please let me know below because um, I, I, can't, I can't pronounce the name of your boat but we passed you before and I said I know, I know that name of that boat but I can't pronounce it and I remember what it meant so I'm going to go through all the messages and find it but yeah we're here where all them cows are Go out. Got more um, cans here. More. We're on cider now. We've gone off. We've gone off. It's very, very hot. Oh, there's cow shit everywhere. Luke. Honest, there's cow shit, Luke. We're in that field again. We're. Um, Paul and Anthony, well, Paul, <laughs> chased the cows away. 
for your advert here, mate. You see Tony there. Bruce. You alright, Bruce? You alright, Bruce? He's just marvellous here. And I can get on and off the boat. Not far to walk. Go get some dead chairs in middle of cow shit here. Like a piggy. <laughs> It would be fine, but romantic about that, isn't it? God, no, no. there he is. We've got a peregrine falcon up there. I don't know that. I know my bird. Can I go past? Just wait there. Go on, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Is it still there? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see. Massive. Big that, innit? That's a big old thing, wow. I can't, I can't tell you how big that bird is. <laughs> it's nearly as big as me. It's a bird <laughs> big bird. It's just not yellow. Definitely looks like a peregrine falcon. I don't know, I don't know. I wouldn't know one if it. I, I do from school. This is what happens to your uh, when, um, oh God, <laughs> when you get all sweaty. <laughs> it is in the wind all day, look at the state of me, look like nobody owns me. Tony's saying it's not a peregrine falcon that, and I um, I believe it is. And as you know, I'm the font of all information. <laughs> Talks loads of shit, so it, I could be wrong, but it does look like a peregrine falcon to me. Well, what a lovely morning it is. I need my sunglasses on. All cows are over there this morning. There's a, there's a big man with on there. <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm being childish. I can't help myself. So, yeah, we're going to go now. We're going to head down there because we've there's a park when we came with. Paul, Anthony and I did, we didn't, there's a, there's a little part we didn't do and we want to make sure that we've done it. So we're going to go down to that side and go and have a look down there um, towards the Manchester Ship Canal, a different lock. So we're going to go down and have a look. So we're en route to Marsh Lock. It's lovely around here. I don't remember seeing this last time, but I think we were racing. <laughs> we were racing uh, <laughs> on Weaver, um, racing harder. So That's six mile an hour. Yeah, six mile an hour race. Um, so yeah, we're we're on way to Mar to Marshlock, and then further as well. We're gonna have our dinner at Marshlock. We're gonna go right to the end of the Weaver navigation, and then oh my God, have you heard us? How boring are we? We're, not saying it, not we're well boring, and then we're gonna come back have our dinner a bacon butter um, and then we're going to go head back and find somewhere else more somewhere completely different away from cows away from cows <laughs> so we are just passing Marsh Lock on the Weaver navigation leading on to Manchester Ship Canal and we when we get past here the last time you saw us I think we were um, we were here with Heidi and Paul and Anthony and we are officially now on new waters we've no idea what this is inside of us we think it's what you can see from because it goes right round there if you know where it is let us know Manchester Ship Canal's on left this is on right and I think it's what you can see in it from when you go over Thelwall Viaduct in Warrington and on one side it's got all this and on the other side it's pretty let us know, but yeah, we're on we're on new ground. Who are we? Who'd have thought, Tony? I'm dead excited for colour me mapping that I got from Minimalist. I'll colour it in and show you how, how much progression we're making. Isn't that weird on wall? It's like they've burnt it. Stuff's come down and burnt all trees. Salt looks like salt, doesn't it? So we finally made it to the end of the Weaver navigation. Hi there, are you okay? Yeah, we finally made it to the end. And as you can see, there's a branch going off there, but we're just turning around. 
and there's a branch that goes off to the left, but as you can see there, there's actually a church there, Tony, Steeple Church. Yeah, Steeple Church. As you can see, we're spinning round, we've done the navigation, we're not going to mow up, there's, there's another boat here. And it's, that's unfair. So, we're going to, we weren't going to mow here anyway, we're going to go back to the marsh lock um, and have some to eat. We've had, we've had a bacon butty and some porridge, but we're going to have some else as well. Perfect. Well, we've done it. We've been to the complete ends of the Weaver navigation. So what was really nice is that couple who were on that boat then, he said that, he said, we've got bollards if you want to moor up here. And they were going to let us moor. Um, and, you know, because some people don't like it, do they? They go, if you see a boat moored in middle of nowhere, normally it's, we, you know, it's because they won't be on their own. And we do it sometimes. And they were dead nice. And they said, we've got bollards here if you want more on with us. And they were going to let us go with them, weren't they, Torn? In that kind. Um, really nice people and we just said oh no we, we're going up we're going back now we just wanted to say we'd done the whole um, network the whole river navigation weaver navigation so yeah so we're going back now um, and, and seeing what's going on on ship canal because we could see some ships on it before god I'm honestly I'm getting duller by the bloody minute mate what a boring swine <laughs>